PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete and Pete's Tools, here we go going today. Hope you're all doing well, the same as me, crazy old coot as I normally am. Anyway guys, I'm having a play in the workshop today and um, I got a couple of washing machines out of my dumpsters the other day so I, I, got the, I got the sheet metal off them like this and I thought I wonder if I can do anything with it. Then I thought to myself, I wonder if I can arc weld this little thin sheet metal together. What do you reckon? I mean it's my first time trying so let's give it a crack Nigel. But it's pretty thin stuff, hey guys? Anyway, same as usual guys, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at peachstools.com and um, yeah, let's get into it. Yeah! See what I mean guys, I get a lot of these panels here, I pull them off my washing machines and the dryers and the freezers and that sort of thing, I get them out of my dumpsters. Uh, it's only really, really thin metal as you can see, it's ship metal as I call it here. <laughs> Yeah, because I can't really do anything with it. But I thought maybe, you know, maybe I might be able to arc weld it or, or MIG weld it or something. Uh, it's that thin, you can see that they've pressed it. See, they've put press marks in here to give it a bit more stabilisation when the washing machine is bouncing around the floor. But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd see if I could arc weld it together. Let's have a go, eh? Why not, Pete? Why not? So what we'll try and do, guys, is just arc weld these two little bits of thin plate together, eh? Like I said, it's just a washing machine. I've just run it over with the grinder just to get the paint off because they undercoat one side and then they put the, the white or whatever colour your appliance is on the other side. So I thought if I could weld them together I might be able to make some shit out of it or whatever. But um, you know, it's worth a crack Nigel. Anything's worth a try. <laughs> I brought myself some of these little cute welding rods. They're really, really little, about 1.6 millimetres I think. See the diameter in them? Let's try and do it with the big ones that I have, it's just going to blow this thing to pieces. So like I say, I've never tried this before, so let's give it a go, eh? Don't worry if I cock it up, guys. You know how it is. <laughs> Rightio, guys. Got my helmet on. Let's give it a crack, Nigel. Am I blowing through it? I don't think so. Wouldn't put my life on it. Thin this stuff, guys. This is really thin metal. It would be thinner than exhaust pipe, I'd say. Might have to adjust my power setting a bit. We're actually pulling it up. See that, guys? The heat is pulling it up. I might put a clamp on it. Hold on, guys. I can't actually get this clamp on guys the way my table is, so what I've come up with is a, quite a big heavy lump of steel, so if I stick that on there and try and hold it down with that, we might have a bit more luck. Not perfect, but anyway, you know how it is. We'll give that a crack, Nigel, eh? Hee <laughs> hee! So if I try and hold it down at the same time, guys, hopefully you can see it. Man, the stuff's thin, guys. I think I'm burning through it more than anything. I'm a power almost on the lowest setting I can. I just thought I might be able to get away with it, but I don't know. Let's have a look. Do some down the back. I don't know if you can actually do this, this is, I reckon this is almost impossible to do. Anyway, try anything once Pete. You know what it's doing is lifting in the heat. Anyway guys, we'll see what we come up with eh. She's pretty ugly Pete. I don't know what gauge it is like I say guys, but she's really really thin, see that? What do we look like on the other side? Oh yeah, it's probably not too bad, but you know, you wouldn't want to bet your life on it. I think that is actually thinner than exhaust pipe, guys, because it's just really, really flimsy ship metal, as we call it. Anyway, can you break it, Pete? Is it going to bend or is it going to break? It's going to bend, guys. It's going to bend, guys. Look at that. Can't be that bad, Pete. Can't be that bad. <laughs> so that just proves that you can actually arc weld that shit metal. 
Yeah, well, there you go. So you learn something new every day, don't you? Not that you needed to know this anyway. I had a load of bollocks. <laughs> so guys, that was just a little experiment for what it was worth. Hope it kept you amused for five minutes. It kept me amused anyway. <laughs> yeah, I actually worked a little bit better than what I thought for the first time doing it. I mean, it's, it bent the steel rather than breaking the weld, so it's got to say something, I suppose. <laughs> Might be able to find some new uses for my washing machines, eh? Anyway, guys, if you've got any uh, ideas what I can do with old washing machines and stuff like that, washing machines and fridges and that sort of stuff, put them in the, in the comments below. We might better do some projects, eh? Anyway, same as usual, guys. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say hi to the old git, and uh, we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Peachtools.com.com. <laughs>